What's going on guys, Crispy Flakes here. Welcome to the team that could have been Indiana Pacers edition. Now the Indiana Pacers um, are a team that were probably a few correct draft picks and maybe uh, one trade away, or not trade I should say, from being a dynasty here in the NBA guys. Uh, let's check out this team real quick and of course, um, as always guys, if you could drop a like on this video if you want some more of these type of videos. If you all could help me get this video to 1,000 likes, it would be greatly appreciated. The team that could have been Indiana Pacers. Uh, let's peep out this roster real quick. And, of course, Jeff Teague is a player that they signed in free agency from the Atlanta Hawks. Um, good player, so we're going to assume that they got him back. Paul George, we actually got him as shooting guard. Uh, he was their draft pick, uh, 10 pick overall in 2010, so that's fine right there. We're going to keep him just like that. And he actually did play some shooting guard back in the day because uh, Danny Granger, who was once a, you know, a good player on this team, played small forward, and Paul George played shooting guard earlier on in his career. Um, then we go to the boy Kawhi Leonard. I know a lot of Pacers fans probably salty about this, guys. But uh, Kawhi Leonard was actually drafted number 15 overall, I believe it was that, by the um, Indiana Pacers. And the Pacers actually traded Kawhi Leonard to the San Antonio Spurs for Paul George, or, I'm sorry, for George Hill, different George, uh, George Hill, uh, the point guard that was currently the point guard of that San Antonio team, who Greg Popovich actually loved a lot. But he was like, yo man, Kawhi Leonard, like, he obviously had a good feeling about him, and boy was he right. On um, that power forward, we got Miles Turner, who was their pick in the uh, 2015 draft, number 11 overall. Um, like I said, this is where it gets kind of shaky. Cause it's hard to assume, like, with this team, if they would have still had the number 11th pick in the 2015 draft. Maybe they would have. Maybe they wouldn't have. I know Paul George was injured with, with that broken leg. I think that was, was that 2015? Maybe it was 2016. Uh, but regardless, we're going to assume they still got Miles Turner. And uh, Rudy Gobert, who was actually the uh, 27th pick in the uh, 2015 draft. No, I'm sorry, that's uh, Miles Turner. In the uh, 2013 draft, number 27 overall, Rudy Gobert. And they actually drafted Solomon Hill, who is no longer on this team. So, really up and down this lineup. Um, I'm seeing a pretty damn good team because these three players are all really young. Jeff Teague is what? He's uh, been in the league for eight years, so he's a veteran point guard, 28 years of age. And Paul George is only 26 himself, so he's also very young. And uh, he's actually well, only one year older than Paul George. So, I'm thinking... Or I'm sorry, Kawhi Leonard, but I'm sorry, guys, but this team right here, I think would became a dynasty. Like, this team, defensively, is unstoppable. Um, Offensively, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard could both put the uh, ball in the basket. Jeff, Jeff T, what's his uh, stats looking like? Damn, I mean, he's always been a good, you know, 15, 14, 16 point per game scorer. He can shoot that three ball, get players involved on offense. Um, Of course, these are all used to the Atlanta Hawks, but still, uh, he'd be a very nice point guard for this team. Miles Turner, he's actually got a pretty good three ball guy. Like, oh, well, well, damn, maybe not. Holy shit, dude! The boy got 21% from three. Why, why Ryan 2K got this dude shooting at 81% then with 88 midi? I mean, I, I think he can actually shoot the basketball, but maybe not. But that's why I put him at the uh, fourth spot to kind of be like a stretch four for us. And Rudy Gobert going to be some way that gets you rebounds and gets you block shots and, you know, throws the ball down. And then uh, the bench, we're going to assume the bench pretty much stays the same. Al Jefferson, CJ, uh, CJ Miles, Thaddeus Sun, who actually I think starts for this team. But uh, we're going to assume that... They are going to run a six-man roll here. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. What do you think about this team? Is this a is this a dynasty? Like, do you see this team? Are you thinking like, yo, man, them Pacers, they would have been balling out there. Especially in the Eastern Conference, this is a top two seed every season, if you ask me. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this season. See how this team does. I'm thinking probably a two seed. Maybe a three. It depends because uh, 2K can be kind of tricky sometimes. Simulate through date and just go right th uh, for it. And, yo, I'm just saying, yo, Larry Legend, Larry Bird, the dude that makes the calls up there, you got to think about this, okay? If Greg Popovich wants your draft pick, Greg Popovich, if he wants your boy Kawhi Leonard, it must be for good damn reason. Like, he must want him for a reason. Like, he ain't just going to throw away one of his favorite players. Like, I don't know. I feel like uh, sometimes GMs and owners and coaches and whatever, you know, all the guys in charge making decisions, all the suits, they don't always make the right choice. Like, they don't always sit there and think it out. They, they, they think about short-term gain, which, like, yeah, in short-term, George Hill's a good point guard. Long-term, he's no longer on the team. And Kawhi Leonard's MVP candidate, and he's actually already got a finals MVP. So I think that's really uh, something to think about. And actually, god damn, dude. Holy shit, yo, Cavaliers struggling out here. Uh, Pacers number one in the East, like, and they actually run away with it. Like, the next best team is Chicago Bulls, who always does good in 2K for some reason. Uh, but they were, like, about 10 games behind. And Cavaliers actually making a push now. But, yo, this Pacers team, dude, like... It, it, it all, it's also another thing to think about is... um I've heard a lot of discussion about Kawhi Leonard and his MVP legitimacy. And uh, a lot of people say that he would not be the same player if he was on a different offense. Or if he was under a different coach. 
and uh, they I, they kind of call they kind of called that the uh, Tom Brady syndrome, where you know Tom Brady is a great quarterback, one of the best of all time, if not the best. But a big part of that is also the system of playing playing with uh, Bill Belichick. But um, you know, Kawhi Leonard, it's not the coaches that put that ball in the basket. It's not the coaches that get steals and get the hustle plays and play defense. And you know, I saw a shot, I shot, I saw a shot the other day where he uh, made like, like the game winning shot. Then the other team tried to rebuttal it, and he threw that shit back. He's like, "Hell no, dude, I'm gonna get this W." And I'm just saying, like, that is not something you coach. That's part of the player, and I feel like that gets overlooked sometimes. But man, this Pacers team. Uh, we might actually win the championship, guys. And I think it's probably going to be the Pacers and the bitch-ass Warriors in the finals. But uh, if it is, that's going to be a good matchup right there. As we are just absolutely destroying the Eastern Conference. Which has actually gotten a lot better in uh, recent years. Um, I know for a while there, it was always the Miami Heat winning everything. Or now Cleveland. We're really, like, wherever LeBron James is at. But uh, this year, it's definitely a closer race. And even out east, the uh, Indiana... I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, San Antonio Spurs and Golden State Warriors are, like, neck and neck. So definitely going to be a good playoff this year. And if we win this game, guys, we are going to go 70-12 and 12 on the season. Simulate through day. See how we do. And we get that W. LeBron James, MVP. Uh, Joel Embiid, Rookie of the Year. Okay, anything. Uh, the, okay, uh, D'Angelo Russell, most improved player. I don't see that that often. Uh, see if we get any Pacers on here. God damn, dude. How are we going to get fucking 70? All right, he made All-NBA third team. But real talk, dude. How the fuck are we going to do this good and only have one player on All-NBA third team? Are you serious, 2K? And we're the boy Kawhi Leonard, all defensive team. All right, Ronnie. Ronnie, you've gone too far this time, dude. you got too damn far. 70 and 12. Let's check out these players' stats. Uh, Paul George actually leading this team is scoring at 23 points, 6 rebounds, 5.4 assists. I honestly didn't know he was that much of a playmaker. Uh, and 2.3 steals. Kawhi Leonard, 21 points, 5.8 rebounds. Yo, him being 6'7", and Paul George being actually 6'9". Uh, can you imagine, like, the havoc that would wreak on, like, other team uh, offenses uh, from a defensive standpoint? Jeff T, 14 points, about 10 assists, so again, uh, that double-double out there. Uh, Miles Turner actually, you know, for, compared to the last season, let's check out his last season stats real quick, wherever it's at. All right, so yeah, he's, he's about where he was last season, so not much uh, improvement for him. Actually shot the three ball a bit better, though, so that's good. And uh, got a few more rebounds, actually 1.2 to be exact. And uh, Rudy Gobert had himself a double-double out there with about two blocks a game, so... Definitely a nice front court, too. Definitely a really nice front court in the bench ball now. So let's go ahead and get these playoffs. See how this team does. Like I said, guys, if you can all do me a quick favor and drop a like on this video, it would definitely mean a lot to me and my channel as I almost have 100k subs. And um, all that stuff definitely helps. Okay, first round, we got the... Uh, okay, Philadelphia 76ers out here balling. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, simulate current round real quick. See how we do. And all right, we got the four games to zero. That was an easy matchup. That was easy. Closeout game. Quad Leonard, 23, 4, and 5. Paul George, 23, 5, and 7. Double double for Rudy Gobert. And Al Jefferson, 14, and 6. And now we got the Toronto Raptors. This is going to be an interesting series right here. Simulate current round. See how we do. All right, I guess not that interesting. We freaking beat them four games to zero. Oh my damn, Paul. Oh my God. 34, 10, and 7. 21 points for a Miles Turner shooting. Very efficient out there. Quad Leonard, almost a triple double. Definitely coming up on it. And Jeff Teague, leading a playmaker out there. Here we go. Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We're going to be all fucking Cavaliers fucking beat our ass down like they always do. Come on, dude. Why is it always the Cavs? Let somebody else be in the oh, Eastern Conference Finals. All right. Simulate current round. See how we do. God damn it, dude. Every fucking goddamn time. I fucking quiet let up. I'll shut your bitch ass down, LeBron. And Paul George. Who can fucking hold Paul George? Kyle Korver? Kyle Korver, your shooting guard? Is, that, is he going to hold him? Kevin Love ain't got nothing out. No, I guess him, Miles Turner, probably, probably even. Miles Turner's a baller. Rudy Gobert gonna grab every damn... Oh, my God, dude. Every fucking time. Look at them numbers for LeBron. Always doing shit to us like that. Always. This team win the championship, guys. Real love this team low-key, high-key actually win the championship. Simulate playoffs. Yeah, there you go. Cavaliers, once again, guys, you're NBA champions because Ryan 2K... Who is the the man behind the most simulated game ever? Can only fucking get the goddamn video game creators to make one code and the same shit happen every damn time. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this team and uh, what team you like me to do next for the team that could have been. Thank you so much for watching and peace out, my friends.